Hi there, welcome to this short video in relation to the Gravity.io API platform. Today we'll be showing you how you can get started with the API management component of Gravity in a matter of button clicks and a matter of minutes. So let's get started. We'll be building this today, so your first branded portal, and we'll be showing you how you can achieve that all on one virtual machine in the space of approximately five minutes. So let's navigate across to AWS. That's what we'll be using for the purposes of this session. And let's go ahead and launch our first instance. So let's go ahead and launch it. And we'll choose the top option here, the Amazon Linux Type 2. And we'll select the T2 medium from this list here. And we'll go ahead and review and launch. And I'm going to acknowledge that I'm going to use an existing key pair. So let's look at the instance that I've just started. It's pending subject to some checks that have to be done by AWS. But before we do anything further, let's go ahead and amend my security groups and my security rules. So this is in relation to the firewall rules. Let's go ahead and edit the inbound rules here. Now what we need to do is we need to go and add four new rules. Okay, there are your four. Now what we want to do here is add 8083, that's our management API. We want to add 8082, that's our gateway. We want to add 8084. That is our console where you, it's the portal component where you undertake management and administrative tasks. And 8085, this is the portal that will be this component here. Okay. Now what we want to do for the purposes of this demo is we're just going to allow all traffic. But in actual fact, what you might do if you were using this in production rather than just for the purposes of a demo, you might control these IP addresses a bit more closely. So let's go ahead and save those rules. Let's now look back at our instances that we just started. And you can see here that this is the one that we just used. So we're going to use that one that ends 253. So let's go ahead here and we'll navigate now to our PuTTY terminal. So let's add that here and we will add in SSH and let me go to authentication. And I want to use the key pair that I just selected. So let's press yes. And I'm going to log in to this machine for the first time. Now I'm in the machine for the very first time and I navigate to Gravity's Quick Start Guide. So you can see we're in the API Manager 3.x Quick Start Guide and you can see from using an RPM just with this one code, this one command I should say, I can get started with my API management component. So let's go here, let's put that into there and let's start the process. Okay, so you can now see that it's finished installing all the dependent components. All we did was simply type in this one command and it installed absolutely everything, all dependencies and everything onto this one virtual machine for me. And it took approximately one to one and a half minutes. So now we've opened up all of the ports that we need for the different components to communicate with each other and we've installed everything. Everything will have been started on that one server. So let's go ahead and open up a new window on my browser and I'll go and type in my IP address and I'll first of all put in 8085. If you remember this was the portal. So you can see here we've now come to our brand new portal that we just created a matter of moments ago. Now let's open up another window and we'll put our IP address back in and then this time we will add in 8084. So if you remember correctly this was the management console. So you can see it's now coming up and the first time you log in, it will ask you to create or you can use your admin admin username. And when you use the ad default admin admin username, it will first of all ask you to create your profile. So the profile enables you to be able to change your pictures and to start to start the personalization process of your experience. In this case, I'm going to ask to subscribe to the updates in relation to gravity. So I will choose contact at, at gravitysource.com. And this is a very valuable way to keep up to speed with everything and all the updates and all the progress that we're making with Gravity. So let's confirm that profile. And there you can see, I'm ready now to build my first API just by simply clicking this plus button. And there's another video that shows you how you can do that in massive moments as well. But the purposes of this, what we're, going to head, what we're going to go and do here is click on settings 
and click B. And we now have everything that we want to be able to amend the look and feel of this site, of our portal. So I can come here and press images and I can amend all the logos. But for the purposes of this, what I'm just going to do is change the background image. So let's go and change it. And let's use this star in the sky image. And let's make this a bit larger. Let's make it 800 points, for example. I then enable the top here, my theme, and I save this. So if we now come back to this particular portal and we refresh the page, you can see there that we've built our very first API portal with all the components necessary to actually start your business on your API journey and really make sure you have the best possible API platform and your best digital strategy to unlock and unleash the power of your data moving forwards with Gravity.io. I hope that's been helpful and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask.